Welcome to Miss Autumn's Art Club Spinelli Tigers. Today we are going to use the third canvas that we got at the Dollar Tree. And I used every single paint that we got in our Mars picture. We have Mars and Phobos and Deimos, Mars's moons. And uh, make sure you have a safe working space. Your hands are clean, your homework is done. Get your wiggles out and let's get started. But don't forget, if you don't have these art supplies, you can substitute uh, with other paints for sure. Walmart has paints that are 50 cents, so they're even cheaper than the Dollar Tree, and they work a lot better. Though those, those ones will stain a little bit more than these. Um, you have a whole library selection art club, uh, Spinelli Art Club users. If you go to our YouTube channel, there are over 60 drawings, so you can practice some of your favorite art if you don't have the supplies. You still can do some art this week. All right, let's get started. So here are our 98 cents star supplies, and we are going to try to use every single one of them today. Now, some of the lighter colors I wasn't thrilled about, but we're still going to try it. So we have our $6 tree paints that I found. Feel free to substitute any other paint. Uh, these were a dollar each. I know that Walmart has 50 cent paints. They're fabulous and they are a lot thicker and you will not have to add flour to them. So I also have flour, but I don't have it here. I will grab it again. I have my fancy popsicle stick stirring utensils here that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just have a bowl to put water in. I have my painter's tape. I have those, still have those three brushes that came in the dollar pack and the three other brushes. These are my favorite cloud brushes. I love them. And this is the third and final canvas that I bought. And I also got this palette there at the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. I'm going to tape this really quick. So we have all of our colors out. And now, we used a water bottle cap the other day. So we're going to use another water bottle cap. We're actually going to use two water bottle caps. Because today, if I don't lose the water bottle caps, we are going to draw the view from Mars with uh, Phobos and Deimos, Mars's moons. So we're going to do the same thing that we did yesterday, where we... Take our tape and wad it up into a little ball like we're playing with gum and stick that there. Um, we're going to put our, let's put one moon here. And we are going to put another moon. Hmm, how about, we could give that moon a little more space. We'll put it over here. And then we're going to use our tape dispenser. So we're going to mess up a little of our tape. And we're gonna take a piece of tape off of the tape dispenser so we can hold the tape dispenser down. And we're going to give ourselves our Mars shape. Mm, let's make Mars about that big is where I'm gonna put Mars. Then I'm gonna just tape the tape down. Actually, maybe I should double double tape the tape down. Okay, oops, don't tape it to the outside of the canvas because we're trying to make a nice round line right here. So you want to make sure you want to tape it to the outside. It can be tricky, but it is worth it. You could also use a, a plate or a lid or anything else, but I want to try to use, I'm just trying to use all of our supplies from the Dollar Tree today. So we're going to take our water and fill up our bowl. We have our paper towels over here, and I have the flour. This is just regular all-purpose flour that I have found is really useful in thickening up, thickening up, especially the blue and the white when we need them. So, we need a universe. Galaxies are my favorite thing to paint. So what I like to do when I start off a galaxy is I do some black, and I put it down, and I add a bunch of dark blue to it. So it comes out with a really really midnight looking blue. And so I'm going to hold my moons down and I'm just going to spot a couple of spots around. And 
And I kind of like that that blue, that lighter blue show, showing through. So I'll give it a couple spots there. And as you can see, I'm just doing it in a few spots because we're going to add some other colors to our, our dark universe here. I get too dark. All right. So I am going to try. Let's add. Hmm. Let's try this blue again. But I'm I'm going to take this blue. This blue is was I was really disappointed with. It's very see through. But maybe we can use it as a blending tool. All right. So I have blotted it on the same cloud brush that I use, and I blotted it out here. And I'm going to go around just a little bit just around the edges of those spaces that I made. And if you are too close to your bottle cap moons, just make sure you hold it down there. Yeah, that didn't do too much. All right, so let's make a little bit of purple for our sky. So purple is a fun color to make, and I've never tried making it with these Dollar Tree paints, so we're gonna try again. So we've got some, or try for the first time, we have some dark blue, and we're gonna add our red mix that together and that just makes a muddy color so let's add some white there we go this is kind of a purpley color needs more red i'm messing all my paint up there we go though we're getting a purple let's do even more white okay so i have used my paintbrush instead of my mixing tool so what i've done is i've wasted a whole bunch of paint. So I recommend not doing what I did <laughs> using your painting tool if you want to try to make your art supplies stretch. So I have a lot of paint built up in here. I'm going to blot a little bit because we still want kind of a, a cloudy effect, but we've got our purple here and we are just going to dot it around. Oh wow, that blue is, I don't recommend that using that blue for sure. It did not, it kind of is a wet mess on the canvas. It didn't soak in well. In fact, what I'm gonna do is dip my paintbrush into the powder, into this flower, and just tap over where some of that light blue was. And it gives it a little bit of sky texture, but it also is gonna help mop up that yucky paint. It just doesn't seem to, it might work better on, on a different uh, type of paper. Okay, and now let's add some just straight black. And I've got my same cloud brush that I'm keeping messy here. We're gonna dip it into this black and we are just gonna darken up our sky in some parts. Try to make sure that you get, that's the nice thing about this cloud brush is you wanna make sure you get the, the colors to blend so you really can't tell exactly where one stops and the other one starts. So when you start to get to another color, tap just a little lighter and make sure you push down real hard and do a good tap around your stars if you haven't already. Okay, let's let this dry for a little bit and we will be back. A few minutes later. My canvas is mostly dry, so I'm going to take off my tape and I'm gonna take off my little moons. And don't worry, we're going to adjust up the circles, but it gives us a spot to work with. All right, so I still have a little bit of wet paint here. I'm going to blot it off. You let yours dry. Don't do what I do. Okay. I'm excited because this is my favorite part of any galaxy painting, and that, my friends, is the stars. So I have a, a, a little trick that I like to use, and I'm going to show you on a piece of paper. Um, so I have a piece of paper here that will just show you, and it's, I recommend that you practice making your stars on another piece of paper before you put them on your canvas, because they're hard to adjust, and if you get them the way that you don't like them, then you have to use a Q-tip, and you can always paint, repaint. If you don't like your stars, you can do your galaxy right over them when they dry, and then try to do your stars again. But this seems to work for me, so I dip it in the water, and I dip it in the white, and then I blot it, and I dip it in the water again. So this, I have a really wet white, and I'm just maybe gonna dip it here one more time, and blot it one more time, a little more water. So I have a lot of water and paint built up in my cloud brush here. 
So then, then you get to do the fun part. You're gonna hold it over your over your uh, paper, and you're gonna just start making flicking. And you'll see you get the stars. So see where you have those big droplets of water? You don't want those. Those are not gonna make good stars. That means that I have, I need to put more paint on my brush. And let's see, we'll get them a little brighter. That definitely works better. So I think we'll go to the paint one more time before we go. But before, anytime you're gonna do stars, always, you know, spurt out your stars a little bit on a paper because the very first time you do it, you are gonna get those big droplets. So let's do it for real now. Um, drop in my paint in here. I'm gonna put it in my water, blot it off, put it in the paint one more time, and let's see if I like it. I got the big droplets off, so I'm gonna move my paper away, and I'm gonna just start adding stars. Look at that. This is the other fun way you can do it. You can always let it dry too and add more stars. A toothbrush also makes ah, fabulous stars. Just you know I just love my multi-purpose cloud brushes here from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know if you can see it on on the uh, on the screen. How it's really got it got a lot of good little stars. I don't think it's too bright or too bold. I think I would like a little bit more bright stars on there. So let me. Test my paper again and just really get it in that white. There we go. Let's see. So then I'm going to move it away and get some more white. And don't worry about getting white on your moon or your Mars because guess what? We're going to paint over that. So it's just getting white on a white canvas isn't going to hurt anything. All right. There we go. Now we really have to let this sit before we can do anything else at all. More moments later. So we are gonna start out with our large flat brush that we got at the Dollar Tree. And I cleaned my paint palette off because we're gonna do a bunch of mixing. So here's some red that we're gonna use. We're gonna try out this Dollar Tree orange, this Dollar Tree light blue. I'm going to throw in the garbage can. It has failed me on all levels. <laughs> then I'm gonna use, let's see, I don't actually think we need any black. We are gonna use some blue. I love the blue. And some white. Lots of white. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna dip my brush into the water and I'm gonna start on this red. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a ton of red on my brush and I'm just gonna make the line of my planet, which is already outlined from our tape. So there we go. And then I'm just gonna blend all the way until I'm out of paint. And now we're gonna test out this Dollar Tree orange. So I'm gonna dip my same brush in the water and just blot it. I'm not gonna wipe any of that red off because it'll naturally blend this orange in. We hope, we hope, we hope. And we are going to start right in the red and we are gonna pull it down. So we're dipping in the water and just make it a little lighter and just to blend it all the way down to light, I'm gonna put little bit of white here and blend that in too. That white really seems to blend it together well. All right, blend it all the way back up to orange. I'm keeping my, my shape of my Mars. So you know, Mar Mars is like a cold desert world and it's like half the size of Earth. And it's sometimes called, of course, the red planet. That's why we're painting it red. And that's actually because it has rusty iron in the ground. We're gonna let this um, just dry a little bit while we work on some of our other planets. And then we're gonna come back and add a little more fun detail to make it look more planety. Planety is a new art word that I just made up. Okay, so let's make one of the moons a nice light blue. Not using the Dollar Tree light blue. I have 
just decided I don't like that at all. So I've got this beautiful dark uh, blue from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to mix it with a lot of white. Because remember, my galaxy is blue already. It's mainly blue. So I want my, my moon to show. So I don't want it to be to match the sky too much. So we want it nice and light. And once again, I use my paintbrush instead of my handy dandy fancy expensive mixing tools, making meaning a lot of the paint that I wanted to use is still on the brush. I mean, that is just one technique that I need to learn better to save paint. So I'm working on that. I think I have this light blue that I like a lot. So I'm gonna rinse my brush off a bit because I've overdone it. So basically start with that clean brush. And I am going to use the blue, this blue that I've made on one side of the moon, and then we're gonna blend it back up on the other side with the white. However, we're gonna do it with our pointy brush because we're gonna make some crazy swirls. What is she talking about? I will show you. So I have way too much paint plopped onto my brush right now. And I'm gonna plop it on the moon. And when I say plop, look, I mean plop. So I wanna try to make sure I keep that moon shape there, but I have plopped. So I have a good amount of blue paint on here to work with. So when I rinse my brush off, and I take some white paint that I'm going to take my mixer real quick here. And I'm going to <clears throat> mix in um, about, well, let's see, a popsicle stick full of <laughs> flour. Just all-purpose regular flour everybody has somewhere in their kitchen. Just to thicken this up because I want the white to be really stark. Stark means bright, and that'll just pop out on our screen. Plus, I like how the um, flower makes the texture of the paint look bumpy, kind of like a planet would look. So I have my pointy brush that I cleaned off, and I've got white, and I'm going to load white in there now, and I'm going to blop it on on this other side. And then I'm going to just blend both of the colors together but not too much because I want there to be white swirls in my planet. And as you can see, working the little white in and the flower, I don't have a solid blue, but it does kind of have a lighter texture on this side, right? So let's dip our pointy brush into the darker blue and just on this one side, we'll make these side this side darker. dark blue in and then we swirl it around so we look like I'll dip it into the white again and just kind of give your planet little swirls like like your moon has little craters in it there we go and then we'll we'll dust a little bit of white on there in just a moment when it dries just try to make sure you've got a dark side going and a light side going. Really adds to it. If you go around too much, you might have to add more later. So we'll just make it swirly. Here we go. All right, I'm starting to like it. You just have to play with it. Really make the white on this side. And you can also turn your brush over and use that to make little swirls in your planet. Just give it a little texture. I mean, you've used that fun flower already. You might as well enjoy it. Okay, I've decided I like how that looks. Yeah, and I changed my mind 10 more times. That happens too. All right, there we go. Okay. So let's make our other moon, I'd like to make our other moon pink. So I want to do with the pink, I want to just take my pointy, you know what, let's use, we have this diagonal brush, we're going to use that. So let's get it nice and wet and blot it out. 
me move my napkin over, flip it over here so we have a, a cleaner side. Every once in a while, I'll go to blot my brush and I'll blot it in a color I've already used and ruin my picture. So we still want to have some texture. So let's take some of that uh, red paint and let's mix a little flower into that so we can get the same kind of uh, pattern on this moon that we have on the other one. So we'll do the same thing we did, but we'll use red and white to make a pink. All right, there we go. I have a nice pasty, pasty uh, red over there, and I'm gonna take a plop of that and then bring it over to this other white, and I wanna make a pink. I know that they'll make a pink together gradually, but I wanna have a pink of my own. Okay, and there we have our pink and our red. So I'm gonna take my diagonal brush and I'm gonna take a big hunk of this red. And remember we have it, we're having the darker color be on the back side of our canvas, the darker part of our planet. So we will go over here with the red. And it's really good the red is dark because I didn't press down hard enough on my water bottle cap on this side. So you can see that it wasn't a perfect circle. So I'm gonna use that dark red color to do that and blot this off and then I'm going to go into my pink and blend into there. Oh, this actually came out really sparkly. You can't see it, but it's coming nice. So I want to make my pink go right on through and I still want to leave a little more pure white. So let's go into our chunky white here. And we'll put that here and blend it. So we'll still have a light pink, but it'll be almost white on this side of the planet. we go. Wouldn't it be neat to have two moons? We have Phobos and Deimos. And Phobos is spelled with a P-H. And it's to make it cooler like a planet. All right. As you can see, I'm still playing with the texture a little bit there. Okay. Let's let this dry for a little bit. Then we're gonna go in and put in my fun favorite cloudy details. So make sure that your cloud brushes are nice and clean and we'll be right back. Eventually. Now I'm gonna use these cloud brushes I'm super excited about. I'm thinking that Mars, we are gonna have maybe, um, let's first put a little bit of red. So we have our red and I've dotted it out here on my tape. Just gonna put, do this red dotting here. As you can see, and I'm staying in the lines like a good girl, but it just fills in. You have a couple of, we have a couple of spots that aren't as dark. There we go, nice and round. And then I do see over here, I found that I didn't make my Mars quite round. So you can always, always fix your art. Your, remember, your picture is going to be different than my picture. You would probably not make that mistake, but I did. There we go. And then a blot pen, kind of blend that in. And then I'm going to dip into this orange and blot right here on my tape. And then just, I'm really impressed with this orange. I should have used it more. It really, oops, see, and now look, I accidentally pulled in some blue. I'm going to blend that in, but that's what happens when you, you, Sometimes forget to work on a clean surface. I'll blot that out. And then instead of putting white right here, I like this pink that we made. So I'm gonna blot that out. Let's try and see if that blends in with the orange well. Look at that, it really does. Okay, now, if you'd like to at this point, you can go in and add a little bit more stars because some stars would be in front of the planet. Now that we've gotten so good, at making stars. I'm going to see how the thicker stars turn out. Let's see. I like that. So I'm going to dip right into my thick paint, make a couple of, of test blobs here, and let's just add some, because we want a little bit of our stars going over Mars. Okay. And I think maybe should we have a cloud going through, or do you think that? I really like how this looks, but let's give it a little bit of cloud just so we can practice doing clouds. So let's make this, let's do a pink, a pink cloud. 
loud. So we'll dip it in, we'll blot out our brush here, our, our brush. Let's go back to our orangey one. Um, you know what? We could do orangish cloud. Let's do that. So I'm going to dip this in this orange that I've decided I really enjoy. And I'm going to make a little cloud that goes through here. There we go. And we're having orange be kind of the middle color here. Make it nice and droopy. Okay. And then I'm going to dip it into the red and put a little darker red on the bottom. Just to kind of so we can see the shape of our cloud. And then I still have the same brush and I'm going to dip it into the white a little bit here. I dropped that out and then we'll do that on the top. Let's see how that looks. There we go. I like that in there. Then, okay. All right, and then let's take the white one more time with a clean brush and we'll put it in the liquid white without the powder. Drop that out and just dab that right on our clouds there. And um, you know what else might be nice when we've done this? Let's do some pink, a pink cloud down here, just going off the side. There we go. So we have the red uh, as our dark color on the bottom. Okay, and then we'll just put a little bit of pink here. And then let's go back to that white brush. We'll dip it in our thick, bright white. And just plop that there right on the edge. Nice cloud. Going into Mars. Look at that. That kind of, kind of cloud covers that spot. Now look, I over blended my cloud. So I'm going to go back in there and get some white on the edges. So I don't like it blended. And then I'm going to use another brush and I will get some more of my pink in here. Which after I do that pink, I think the more the, um, the white pops out and then I think I'll use some more orange in here. So just a, a bright orange. I'm noticing my cloud, I don't feel looks very puffy. So we'll fix that up too by ripping off the paintbrush. <laughs> All right, let's get some more white in here with a dryer brush and we'll just make sure that the cloud shape isn't too uniform so it still looks cloudy. There we go. And I like to do that on the top too. There's just some parts of the cloud that are up a little and down a little. And you can just keep playing with your colors until you feel you've got just the best shapes going. All right, I pretty much like this a lot. All right, let's see how it looks like after we take up our tape. This is my favorite part. I love the big reveal. Now it looks like I didn't tape down very hard, so we're gonna have to clean up the frame a little, but we did that in another video and it's really simple. I'll show you how to do that. You um, change out that water. Okay, so with this Dollar Tree paint, I have found out that it's mostly water-based. So it, it has not stained my hands. I've been able to wash it off with soap and water. And I'm noticing, like if I've made a little mistake on the canvas, if I dot it really quick and pull up, I can pull the paint right back off. It doesn't stain much. Like there's a big blot there I don't like. I just pick it up and then I move stuff around and there you go. So that part is really easy to work with. If you have gotten some uh, paint on the side. You can use a Q-tip. I didn't buy any at the Dollar Tree, so I'm just going to use paper towel. Um, just take water. I did, I, if I do this with acrylic paint, a lot of times I'll use soap and water uh, with the normal acrylic paint. I use the Walmart paint or Michael's paint. But I found out that with, with this um, paint, it comes right off the side with water. So just be careful so you don't take off too much of your picture and you're actually able to wipe it right off. I recommend you use a Q-tip so you don't, um, so you don't uh, mess your painting up there. I know I, I smudged mine a little. 
But the good thing is that you can always fix that. So I just kind of touch these up a little bit. The dark blue is such a, it, it's actually a really great color that I'll use again. It is actually staining a little more, but you can go over the sides too with a, um, uh, with white too. I just kind of paint the sides white. Or this could be the part that ends up in the frame here, but I always like to clean it up a little. Here we go. And then where I smudged that part on the side, we'll just touch it up again. There we go. And so look at that, I got more water on the side. I'm always, I'm always continually messing uh, with projects. Uh, sometimes I have to hang them up or give them away just so I stop changing things. But I think that's fun. Sometimes I like to go back to um, paintings like this and, you know, add little creatures or UFOs or maybe the Millennium Falcon. But here's our red planet picture. I'm liking it. Ah, please send me pictures of your Mars galaxy. I can't wait to see what they look like. Next week, we're going to be back with some drawing lessons. Remember, be kind to your neighbors. Stay safe and don't forget your homework's done. We'll see you next week.